Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shog Mohammed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa will meet on Sunday with a high-level delegation of Nobel Peace Prize laureates to promote peace efforts and values of tolerance and coexistence among people and learn about His Highness's vision and experience. The delegation consists of three former Nobel Peace Prize laureates, former President of South Africa Frederick William de Klerk, former President of Poland Lik Walisa, and former President of East Timor Jose Ramos Horta. His Royal Highness will also meet with Anna Tsibayuka, Under Secretary General and former Executive Director of the United Nations Human Settlements Program, winner of the 2016 Sustainable Development Award and the Gutenberg Environmental Prize, known as the Nobel Peace Prize for the Environment. He also meets with Kailash Satyarthi, a Nobel Peace Prize winner in 2014, a social and human rights activist from the Republic of India who heads the Kailash Satyarthi Foundation for Children. These leading figures are at the forefront of political symbols that have played a prominent role in establishing peace and stability in their country through peaceful means. This visit falls in line with the approach of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a country that works to promote noble human values and to promote its message of peace as the most worthy path of concern for peoples and governments for a secure, stable and peaceful world. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain is a state of law and institutions and has a reform project based on the National Action Charter, which won by an absolute majority and expressed a sweeping national will under the leadership of His Majesty the King. In his statement, al Mullah also said that the Kingdom of Bahrain has a constitution that regulates work in all aspects of life and that reform and democracy are proceeding at a steady pace. He noted that any amendment to laws and procedures is carried out through the constitutional institutions and the legislative authority represented in the Representatives Council and the Shura Council in cooperation with the Executive Authority and that any attempts to jump over the powers of the authorities and constitutional institutions, laws and procedures are totally rejected. He stressed that the recent moves by some political figures reflect a new movement of the Iranian al-Faqih regime in the Kingdom of Bahrain and some of its sympathizers that there is no place for their ideologies. He noted that the betrayal of the homeland is a crime and will not be accepted by the sincere Bahraini people who stand with the country's monarch, the prime minister and the crown prince and that the people of Bahrain reject extremism sectarian trends which are contrary to the values of the civil state. He stressed that it's time to take strict and clear measures against the manipulation of national sovereignty, pointing out the reform process in the Kingdom of Bahrain is proceeding with pride and happiness and with all constitutional and civilizational practices in various fields. He said that the Bahraini people prepare to participate in the upcoming parliamentary and municipal elections. Some figures with radical ideas and disbanded associations go out to hold clandestine meetings, engage in suspicious political activities, end up obstructing the reform process and negatively affect the process of political participation. He said these violations must be dealt with firmly and decisively in order to preserve the reform process, protect national unity, safeguard national assets and democracy, and not allow dissolved societies to republish and promote their goals in a country that cherishes its national principles and high values.